Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, hope you guys had a great Christmas. Today I wanted to film a get ready with me, chit chat get ready with me. And I just wanted to update you guys on some of the things that's been going on in my life. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. Want to know if you guys like the videos that I'm doing. If not, let me know what videos you guys would like to see. I need you guys to interact with me more. So, you know, I know what videos or what content that you guys want to see. Um, I'm going to begin with my brows. Usually I don't film my brows on camera. But I think today I will. But yeah, I can start off with that. Just talking about that. I feel like you guys don't interact with me as much. And I kind of want you guys to let me, like, you know, talk to me more so I know. And I know it seems like, what do you think? Like, I'm saying talk to me. Like, what do you mean talk, talk to you? I mean, in the comments, you guys can let me know if you guys like the video. Um, let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. Because I feel like sometimes the content that I'm making. Like, uh, that I'm filming, I don't know if you guys would like it or not, and I just put it up. And if you guys don't watch it, or you guys don't let me know whether it's good or not, I wouldn't know to, you know, not do it, do, do that, or, you know, if you get what I'm trying to say. This is why I hate filming my brows on camera, because literally, it just doesn't cooperate with me. But yeah, um, it's like I've been discouraged off YouTube, but it's just sometimes, I don't know, I don't get the urge to film. And I think another reason why is because I don't know what you guys would like to see. So it's really hard to think of video content. I don't know if any other YouTubers have the same problem, but it's really hard for me sometimes to think of a video to do because I don't know, it's just hard because sometimes just because something is trending doesn't mean that you should do it because it could be trending but at the same time i don't know if i'm gonna get a lot of views people are gonna like it so i know it just it gets hard sometimes so then i'm just stuck and that's where you guys come into play and i need you guys to be able to tell me once again what you guys want to see Usually when I have my eyebrows waxed, I don't do concealer because I don't really need it. But and I'm using the um, and actually I'm using the actual um, an eyeshadow powder from the Too Faced chocolate bar palette. It's the eyes. If you watched my last video, you probably know which one I'm using. I'm using this one right here. I don't think I, I don't want to really conceal my brows because I think I really need to. Because whenever they wax my eyebrows, the areas on the outside get really light. So it's just like, I it looks kind of like I already have concealer on it. So, yeah. I don't know if I said it before, but, um, shit. I've been doing this natural kind of look it literally takes 10 minutes to do but yeah it's really easy um so yeah let's talk a little more about school since i was talking about that in my last chit chat um update i passed fundamentals so that's the good thing and fundamentals was the class that i had to drop in the summer i passed i'm on to the next it gets harder each semester if you're a nursing student you know what i'm talking about and I'm trying my best. So that means next summer, um, I won't be posting as much on YouTube. I'm sorry if you guys hear any background noise. My family is downstairs being loud and I'm filming up here in my room, so. Yeah, my family's being loud. I'm gonna try my best to see if I can cut that out because my mom is being extra loud. You know how African parents are. But yeah, as I was saying, I passed the class and next semester it's gonna be even harder so I might be kind of I'm gonna be off YouTube a little bit but then again I don't want you guys to unsubscribe I will try my best to make videos here and there but it, I won't be like filming videos as much because I'll be just be so busy okay I think I'm done because
Oh my goodness, my parents, I mean, my mom is being so loud. It's so irritating sometimes, because mother, I'm trying to film. And I just told them that I'm trying to film, so you should keep it down. Did they listen? No. Um, I primed my face with shea butter and then Mario Badescu rose water spray. This is such a good combination. And I haven't had, I originally used to use regular shea butter from the African store, but since I got Oye shea butter, I've been really loving it. So that this is what I use on my face all the time. Yeah, my skin has been going through certain breakouts. Like I used to use the Freeman um, face mask. I can't use those anymore because it ruins my face. I don't know what it is. I've been using this black soap. The black soap is the only thing right now that works for my face. Everything else is just, once I use it on my face, it causes rashes and pimples and I'm just done. So yeah, I'm really excited about school um, next semester. I'm aiming for an A as always. Let's see how that goes. Don't know if that will really work, but I can try. That's my aim. Now I'm just gonna put concealer on. This is not gonna be a long chit chat because I don't really have much to say. Just wanna update you guys on certain things. And me talking about um, the whole, you guys not interacting with me as much and like the whole YouTube thing. Um, makes me feel like, I don't know if sometimes if I should continue, it kind of discourages me. And I know it's not, that's not how I should be, but sometimes I feel that way. But, you know, I'm not going to quit YouTube. I'm going to keep going, but, you know, you guys are my subscribers, so I need you guys to be able to let me know. And as the concealer that I'm using, it's kind of my skin tone, so that's why I'm using it. You already know what I'm about to use. My body sponge from Ulta, y'all. This thing is amazing. Like, I love it so much. I took my braids out because I had braids in because I wear wigs most of the time and I was trying to you know um, figure out what to do to my hair and one thing I hate oh my goodness I can't stand about my hair is like I can never do anything with it like I'm ready I'm just, I'm I'm gonna cut my hair I'm really thinking about cutting my hair I want to cut it because I honestly don't see the point of it anymore and I will insert like some pictures of my hair throughout the years, but it's like, I've been natural for four, no, is it? I've been natural for actually a long time. But I big chopped my hair four years ago and my hair still looks like shit. So I don't know what's going on, it's not growing. I don't know if it's maybe the products that, I should be using more products or, I mean, I put shea butter in my hair, I wash my hair, I don't know, maybe, it's, I need to use more products and take good care of it and trim it because I don't trim my ends. I mean, well, I was trim my ends with myself, but I will see if I can go get it professionally done and see what they can do with it. If not, I'm just going to cut it all off and start all over again because it's just very irritating. And I need my hair. Like, I be seeing other YouTubers and girls who they big chopped four months ago and the hair is so thick and so long I'm just like how and I know I shouldn't compare that to my to me because everybody's hair is different but I'm just like damn when is my hair gonna ever look like that yeah um, I'm not getting an apartment anymore because where I go to school is honestly BS they're retarded they don't have apartments available we should have done oh our apartment stuff earlier which we didn't so we're out of luck now but, oh well, it is what it is. I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with it. It's really irritating, but there's nothing I can really do about it. I forgot to put eyebrow gel on. And next semester, my clinical is gonna be really far away, so it's just like, wow, great. And it's early in the morning, that's even perfect. 
So, yeah. I have a lot to worry about next semester. This upcoming year, I want to talk about goals. I have some goals for myself, but I think every year I always have goals and I never do it. <laughs> I start and then I stop. But I think I'm going to take it day by day. Like, when I had goals, I would go right into my goals instead of taking it, like, step by step and trying to figure out, like, um, how to go about my goal. That was my issue. So, this time, I'm going to do it day by day, step by step. Um, one of my goals is to definitely work out, work out and get my body better. A lot of people say, you're not fat, you're not this, you're not that. I see it. I see the rules. I'm fat. I, okay, excuse me i'm not fat but i have a stomach and i want to get rid of my stomach i know i remember in a couple of my videos i mentioned that i wanted to do some hauls which i will do but i want my body to get better once my body is better then i can do hauls um but i have other goals but i'm not going to talk about it because i personally believe that you shouldn't always tell people your goals because not everybody wants to see the good in you so if you tell somebody your goals they could you know there's haters and stuff so but that that's just one goal that i wanted to share with you guys the whole working out thing and i will be posting my workout journey also on youtube so if anybody needs help i can you know definitely help you with that but yeah i got this i can do this i always say each year i always say oh this is gonna be my year this is gonna be my year and it never is so I'm hoping 2018 will actually be my year. I'm not going to say that it's going to be my year, but I'm going to hope. Because I've been tired of saying it and it not being my year. So this one, we're just hanging on hope. <laughs> I remember my last chit chat, I was talking about depression. I don't think I'm necessarily depressed anymore. I mean, I'm still working on it, but I could say that I am happier. I let a few things go that was bothering me and I'm working on it and, you know, trying to better my life and just want to see how life is going to go for me. See how easy that is? And my skin is just, I don't know. I feel like my skin is getting way better because before, like, first of all, do you see these? These were pimples that I popped don't pop your pimples they will turn black <laughs> and that's what happened to me so that's why i have these black spots i'm trying to see if the black soap that i'm using will get rid of it because i really need to get rid of it i'm tired of seeing this and but my acne prone areas is definitely my chin i always get pimples over here never fails for me to not get pimples always and that's why you know the deal wipe off the concealer with the brush not the concealer, translucent powder. And also, I want to get rid of my gap. I know I keep talking about it. My friends, one of my friends, she says, like, I don't need to do that. She thinks my gap is nice, but I don't care. I want to get rid of it. So hopefully, you know, I can work, get some money so I can get that together. I don't know, I hate it, and I feel like if you hate something, you usually need to fix it. If you feel like you don't want it, do something about it. So yeah, I'm definitely going to work on that and try and do something about that. I love the Sephora face powder. But yeah. Trying to figure out where I'm gonna go to um, to perfect to the natural hair place to get my hair professionally trimmed. And I'm gonna have to ask somebody. But yeah, I'm excited about 2018, aren't you guys? I'm so excited. Like I can't wait to see what's gonna be in store for me. Like by God's grace, if everything goes well, I'll be graduating that year. So it's just like you know. So I'm gonna keep praying, keep working hard, make sure I don't fail, which I know I won't. Failure is not an option for me. And I got this. I got this. Do 
y'all see this? It's so pretty. I look flawless. It's like not doing the most. My eyebrows actually look nice. Not that I'm looking at it, they look really nice. Oh, I did a good job. Okay, sis. Oh, and I bought some new lashes from AliExpress too. So I wanted to actually wear that today and try it out. Ugh, my stomach hurts so much right now, guys. It's so annoying. This is my favorite palette, if you don't know. It's the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. I got this for my birthday. It's amazing. Like, I love this palette. And I always use this. Ooh, this champagne pop. I always use this as my highlighter. I don't really use blush. I don't know. I just don't use it. Just highlight right here. Right here a little bit. Highlight over there. But yeah, I wanted to do maybe a Snapchat um, question and answer. If you guys want me to do that, let me know. I'll put my Snapchat information and like, I'm on private right now, but I can definitely go on public so you guys can ask me questions. And I wanted to do the Snapchat question and answer like with videos in it. Like you guys can ask me questions. If you wanted to send a video, do that. Why am I using this? Yeah. I think that would be really fun. Let me get my bra. Come on, Sonia. What's going on? <laughs> but yeah, I think that would be really fun. So if you want me to do that, let me know. Oh my goodness, my brother's upstairs being so loud and so irritating because I literally just asked them to like keep it down. I'm gonna try my best to cut out the background noise don't know if it will but I'll try just minimal highlights but yeah it's not gonna be a long video I just wanted to come to say a few things to y'all should I wear lashes yeah I want to wear lashes and I can't, I can't apply my lashes on camera I don't know if today will be the day, but I could never do that. You see how easy that is? And then, oh, sorry. Go on with some clear lip gloss. This is literally clear lip gloss that was laying around. If you know me, you know I love clear lip gloss. I think there's foundation on my lips. Is there? No. I love me some killer gloss. I think there's foundation on my lips. I'm gonna wipe this off. I'll be right back. So I wiped that foundation off my lip. I need to apply some eyeliner. That's what I forgot, some eyeliner. I know my, my face was looking dull. It was cause of some eyeliner. Oh, where's the top? I'm gonna have to put some more face powder under my eyes since I messed up. I'm actually gonna use this brush and just put it under my. There, lip gloss. See, look better. I don't know what I don't know. You guys probably want me to look in the camera. I'll be trying, but I can't always do that. Oh, come on. And by, by my teeth, I'm going to try Invisalign because this guy said he uses Invisalign. Because I don't have money for 20 years right now. So maybe I'll try Invisalign and see. Face over matter, I use it to straighten her teeth. Like, I have straight teeth. I just want to close my gap. So I think it can probably work for my gap. I'll look into it and see.
apply lashes yeah all right guys i'm back so these are the lashes i'm going to be using i bought these lashes from aliexpress two dollars y'all two dollars if you want i can put the link down below i forgot to put on mascara But the whole YouTube thing, I'm definitely committed. I did feel like quitting. I didn't feel like quitting, but I felt kind of down. But it's okay. I'm going to get it together. Let me put some glue on these lashes so they can dry. But I'm so ready to be done with school, guys. You guys don't know how ready I am to be done. But then it's annoying, though, because I have to go back after I'm done. So it's just like... <sighs> but my end goal for school is, I don't know if I've ever mentioned, is my NP. So that's like the last... After my master's, I'm done. You will not catch me in school anymore. I'm done after my master's. Okay, yeah, because this is kind of like... I don't know what the look is doing. But I'm gonna let those dry. I don't know if it's just me, but I have not gotten the correct foundation color. Like, it's annoying. And every time I go to Sephora, they match me. And it looks nice, but then when I go outside, I'm just like, ugh. I don't know, when I come home and I try it, it looks okay, but I'm just like, it's just not that color. And it irritates me because it's like, I want, I hate, sometimes I really hate having to mix foundations. I'm like, Cause why do I need to mix foundations? Like I bought foundation for a reason. I bought my specific foundation color, not a, a foundation that I have to mix with something else. Like, that's irritating. You know what I mean? So it's just like ugh. I haven't found my found right foundation color yet, and I'm done with Fenty. Like trying to get the Fenty foundation is just it's this is doing too much, and I'm not I'm not gonna stress myself to try and get because every time I go there, they always say that oh it's sold out, this and that, and it's just irritating like it's cool maybe next time when it's not i don't know i feel like it's always going to be sold out no matter what so i don't know i don't know if i would ever get it because well i don't my face is already dry and her foundation is extra matte so i don't know i mean it doesn't really bother me but at the same time it's like i don't want my face to be too dry because when i did try it my face was kind of like the foundation when I put on, it was drying out because my face is already dry, if that makes sense. So, I don't know. But, yeah. We'll see about that. Let's try and put these lashes on, on camera. Usually, I don't, but, you know, we'll see. If not, you know, you'll know how that goes. But I'm using Aaliyah J's tips, though. Because, um, honestly, before... When I used to put on lashes, I wouldn't put on mascara. I just put my lashes on. I thought you could see my real lashes under the um, the false lashes. I mean, it used to be so irritating. And I watched Aaliyah J's video again. And she was like, oh, you know, put on one coat of mascara and put the mirror right here and apply your lashes. I used to apply my lashes, like, in the bathroom. Like, I would just look in the mirror and just go like this and apply. And she said, don't do that. Do this and then apply and I've been loving it because I can actually see where it goes on my lash <laughs> yo I'm a joke okay this one is my right one so I can put this on my right and she was always talk also talking about measuring your lashes to make sure it fits you but these seems pretty good it didn't look like I needed to And then she said, pinch your real lash and the false lashes together. Ow! Fuck! Y'all. I just pinched my <laughs> lashes. I just hurt myself. My eyes are watering. Ooh. 
I like these. Alright, let's put the other one on. Ah, so this is low-key a mini lash tutorial. I mean, if you want like me to do this like actually detailed, I could. Okay, no. All right. That's not working. I don't know why I keep trying, but okay. Like, one of my friends always says, he's like, yup, there she goes with the clear lip gloss. Like, every, like, 10 minutes you see me applying lip gloss. I mean, who don't love them some clear lip gloss? This is actually, oh, this is actually Victoria's Secret. Mm, I don't even know. It's finally it in my bag. <laughs> Y'all see how easy it took me to do this face? And it's like natural, flawless. You're not doing the most. I notice I'm more energetic in my uh, chit chat, get ready with me, than I am in my regular videos. Oh well. I think my fellow Ghanians will say a vanity. I'm sorry for my non um, African speakers. Okay. I'm trying to place this thing together. Okay, now let's. Squeeze these lashes together. So, how do you like the finished look? You like or you don't like? What? I'm feeling it. I don't know. I think you guys can really see. See, can you see him? I'm in love. Oh, y'all see my nails is off? Yeah. You know, it's, it's almost school time. And my nails was getting on my nerves. I didn't like them anyways. But, you know, anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Like I said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Please let me know down in the comments what you guys would like to see. And, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Bye.